Alrighty guys, welcome back to more PGA Tour. We're heading into the final round with a commanding lead, I assume. I don't know what the actual leaderboard is right now. Um, can we even check that from here? No. Anyway, we have probably a massive lead on everybody going into the final round of FedEx St. Jude. So let's jump in. We got uh, six to nine mile an hour winds. Which, the wind, I don't feel like the winds had a major effect uh, any of these days, actually, any of the rounds. EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present oh, yeah. the season-long race for the FedEx shot Cup. lead, man. From TPC Southwind in Memphis, it's the final round of the FedEx St. Jude Championship. Well, we have already seen three scintillating, sometimes spectacular rounds of golf. By the time twilight comes calling later today, we will have see a champion how far we can hit this as we thing. check the Sunday leaderboard. Our Even if we end up here in on the, this uh, Sunday spot. is our featured golfer. He's got a sizable advantage here as he looks to increase it further. Final round of this FedEx St. Jude Classic. Our featured <laughs> golfer. <laughs> Unfortunately, we might actually be slightly blocked out. Looking to to round two at the BMW Championship but... next weekend. Yeah, Rich, they look pretty solid in that position, but but really. If you can take it up just one more notch, maybe even win, then this is what the playoffs are all about. You run hot, you win everything. You become the FedEx Cup champion. That's a lot of money. That's that status, perhaps even in the throes of Player of the Year. Ah, so it's going to be a bit short. Uh, one round today is a little oh. bit more important than nope. maybe what well, it looks like. That's actually fine. Just on that draw sheet. Shouldn't be much in this for birdie. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's a birdie here that at one. That is four birdies in a row on, that, on the first three under par. Awesome. Interesting hole here. The second at TPC Southwind in Memphis. Just 401 yards of par four. Dog leg to the right with those bunkers on the left. Now, if you're feeling good, you're driving it well, maybe you take that dog leg out of play and just cut the corner. Get after it. We could. We could go right there. See what happens. But right over the trees. That looks like a good line. This up the right side off the tee. Uh, oh, well, it got into the uh, first cut. That's a fairly decent break. Ball managing to finish up in the first cut as opposed to the rough. Oh, we're the only on. Thing really wow, we're doing like spinners and flops and things from this. Oh, we can do it. We can do it for this. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to do no spin and land it. Yeah, about there. Trying to under hit it slightly. That's a little bit long. But it rolled back. Second okay, feet, not, not a bad, bad lead. That's a good shot. Just six feet left for the birdie. Yeah. Yes. Can't ask for a better start to a round than this. It is back-to-back -back birdies at one and two. And that's going to get him to minus 34. There are only two par fives here at TPC Southwind, and this 554-yard third is one of those. It's straight down the pike. There is a lake, though, in the middle of the fairway that will come mm -hmm. into play on the second shot. Do a regular Certainly drive. you can get home in two, but you can see there's water up around the green and the bunker's on the left. So if you're not careful, you can make a pretty big number here. Driving's been sensational nice. all week, and here's another one that's going to set up nicely in the fairway. Turn 16. Second shot yeah, coming up. Nice. Let's check in for the first time with Notovigay the third. And it's really going to take a bold effort here. Water in play all the way up to the front edge of the green, so got to make your carry count. Hmm. Try something like that and see where we end up. That's not going to stop. Oh, actually. Wow. I think that's about as good as I could possibly have hit it from there. Got every bit of that, flew it all the way there, and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Turn, turn, turn. Yes. Oh, yeah. 
that's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. <laughs> Nice. Heading now to one of the most picturesque holes here at TPC Southwind, the 196 yard par three fourth. Water short left, four bunkers guarding the green. It's an absolute beauty. Gonna do lots of spin. We're gonna land it a little short. Yeah. Ah, it's a bit too hard. Might be okay. Might be long. Nope. I mean, slightly, but damn, that's pretty good. Okay, good shot. Pretty happy with that. Here at number four. This is a 13-footer. Oh, yes. Oh, no problems at all. The pace perfect. It is in for birdie. And he just continues to impress, moving to 37 under par. This par four fifth at 485 yards is a good one. Just a little bit of a dogleg to the left. You'll want to avoid that big tree on the right and the two fairway bunkers lining the left side of the fairway as well. Well, that's going a little more right this than I would starting like, here but right. cleared the trees at least. Ah, uh, stayed in the rough. So that ball nestles down in the rough. Just got away a little bit on that tee ball. That's not going to stop. Roll a little ways, but that's, that's fine. We're still putting. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. And I think this is a very makeable putt. Even from this distance, there's not a lot to see here. Oh, yeah, so close. Yeah, he had class. a pretty good run at that, but it won't go down. Still pretty good from there. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And that's Birdie keep and Eagle this Train has right where it is. Just up, badly. You get the idea here at TPC Southwind. It twists and it turns. Here's another dog leg. This one goes to the left, and this challenges you as a player with all of these dog legs. You have to be able to work the ball both ways. Solid. A driving spin sensation all week, and here's another one that's going to set up nicely in the fairway. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. Ball sitting nicely in the pristine Zorsha fairways, now able to take dead aim at the hole cut in the front part of the green. Um, not do much change to the to the loft and land it just short. Oh, that's too short. Yeah, that's gonna not be as close ah, as I would have liked. That does leave that little uphill putt, so that one will be slow. This is a 16-footer. Ah, uh, oh, it didn't turn oh, enough. Yes, indeed. Ooh. The line there, perfect. It is in for a birdie. And he'll gain another one and move to 38 under par. Next up, the 482 yards. Two more birdies, seven. and he will stop talking about bunker on the left. how the many real trouble uh, to avoid off the tee. How, how fantastically I'm shooting it. Just, just stop going on. 38, 39, 26. Oh, my, oh, can you believe? Oh. Oh, that's not a great leave. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. Um, yeah, let's do some spin. And we'll kind of have to smack it a bit to try and get it over there. Oh. Ah, good approach oh, shot. Not bad. Booty putt coming up. Uh, approach shot, just a little right, a little short. Oh, 
Ah, oh, it's not gonna curl not quite as much time. as I would Pretty like. Pretty good effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. Too bad. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he'll remain well in control of this tournament. On now to the eighth at 171 yards, a par three. Bunkers, the main concern here. Three of them, left, center, and right, protecting a green that tilts from back to front. That might be short. Ah, that's fine. Okay, that one's dancing. Chance now for another birdie. And these are the putts you drill when you're on the putting green before the round. This should have a good chance to go in. Ah, can give it enough uh, respect. Got it there, but not quite on target. Didn't give the break enough respect, I should say. Okay, that in four par here at the eighth. And he's going to maintain that substantial lead. This par four ninth at 457 yards is one of the toughest here at TPC South when it dog legs to the right. Does go slightly downhill, but that approach is coming over the lake, guarding the front of the green. Best to be long and down that right side of the fairway here at the ninth. This starting toward the right side. Mm, a little bit too right. Once again, doesn't count as a fairway hit. We all know that. But the first cut, the ball's sitting up. See what can happen from here. I'm going to land at, uh, I don't know about there with no change to spin because we are going into the wind. Hmm, Stuck the follow through right there. This not could be really hit good. That very good. But got away with it. Decent sized green. It's not bad. Just a little past the hole. Ten foot putt left. Nothing to it. Well done. It's a birdie a here at the ninth. And that is going to mean this I think that's was my a best, uh, on the front side. Front side Seven under bar. Opening the back side with a 465-yard par 4 tenth. It's a slight dog leg left. For long hitters, fairway wood off the tee might be in order. That takes the water out of play. Hmm. That wind is a bit of a problem. It's kind of defeating the purpose of our... Uh... Yeah, look at that. Actually, that basically took the exact line that I that we saw drawn up there the wind kind of negated our extra half club or more draw he sets for a second into the wind long? No, nope, that's fantastic. This hole really sets up well for the player. Brody yesterday, and a chance for another one today. Okay, well done. A couple of birdies here sandwiched around the turn at 9 and 10. And this is turning into an absolute runaway at the top of the leaderboard. This remind you of anything? How about 17 at TPC Sawgrass? This 162-yard uh, par 3 11th is a good one here at South Wind. A short iron, but obviously you need to be accurate. I'm not going to be crazy. I'm going to try and land it there. Oh, that's a bit short. Oof. Just. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. Now this for another birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with ah. very makeable opportunities. Wow, that no. roll. Wait a minute, passed. Ah. 
So that rushed in for par here at 11. And pars are fine at this point with this tournament well in hand. Moving on to the 406-yard par 4 12th, short dog leg to the right. Excellent driving hole with the water running along the entire right side. Fairway bunkers on the left. Let's not be greedy. I don't want uh, it landing over there where the where the water. You know what? A little bit more over there. Yeah, that'll be fine. Little bit long, but that's okay. Playing away from the water, but it's into the rough left of this 12th fairway. It is in the rough, but it appears to be a pretty good lie. Should have a go at this. His second now at the 12th. I don't want to spin. Basically land it right in the hole. Pull back. And as much as I would have liked. Okay, not too bad there. This from about 10 feet. Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number 12. Yeah. And this is no longer a contest, folks. This one is all over but the shout. What's really challenging about TPC Southwind is that on some holes you need to favor the right side. Others, like this, the 472-yard par 413, you're better off on the left side. So you really need to be able to maneuver your golf ball and have control of it the whole way. You're going to make a good score here at TPC Southwind. This maybe a touch right. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. Oh yeah. Beautiful. He was always heading a little bit right, but inside 10 feet, nothing wrong with that on this hole. Ah, uh, nicely done. Two straight birdies here early on this backside. And this one was over a while ago. This is just a walk in the park now. Well, here we are at 14, and this is a hard hole, this par 3. It's 239 yards. It is a yeah, that, that is a over the very long par 3. That undulating green. You absolutely have to have your best shot right here. Mm. Mm. That might work. Go in, go in. Uh... <laughs> that would have been nice. This is where you're starting to see the skill level. Brought that ball in left to right. Really worked it beautifully. Chance now for another birdie. Now oh, that's how you play this 14th hole. That's in for birdie. And he is just unstoppable right now. Arriving now at the tree-lined 15th, 395-yard par four dogleg to the left. Placement of the tee shot is crucial here with an approach shot over a creek to a well-bunkered green. Okay, again, we have the wind kind of not working in our favor. Not working in the, in the favor of the direction that we have to hit this ball, so. Right in the middle of the fairway is totally fine. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Great chance to take advantage of the short 15th, left with a very short approach shot, but got to be mindful not to get too much spin because it will come off into the creek. Well, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. Uh, just went a little bit too far and a little bit to the right, but still, anything inside 10 feet is excellent on this hole. Yeah, 
Yeah. Ah, yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. And to no one's surprise, he's going to move even further under par. Well, now the fun begins. Finishing stretch here at TPC Southwind. This is the final part five, the 16th at 530 yards. Absolutely, it's reachable into. You would expect to make birdie here. Eagle is absolutely a strong possibility if you hit the proper shots. Let's get out of here with five or worse. That is a bit too far left, but I think it's going to be okay. As long as it gets yeah, past why that tree, the tree doesn't. Tee set. Maybe a chance now to go after us. what would be a fifth consecutive birdie from the fairway. Let's go to Noda. Big tee shot off the tee oh, at 16. Got, now uh, have to try and squeeze the ball into a very narrow section of the front part of this yeah, green to get an eagle putt. Try and land it short like that. Hopefully it's going to bounce up. Oh, not quite enough. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in really good position here on the par five. Go in, go in. No, not quite. <laughs> but a tap in birdie is fine. Totally fine. Well played there, a birdie here at 16. Will certainly help the cause. The 17th is a beast at a full 505 yards. Just about everyone will wind up short of the creek with their drives, but there is water there to keep you honest. Then what's required is a long, accurate approach into this green that's surrounded by a total of five bunkers left and right. I think I hear Molly screaming at a bug. <laughs> and just heard a slam smash. <laughs> Are you okay, Molly? <laughs> Me beetles be damned. <laughs> oh. Well, you know what? Never, never a dull moment in a recording session. Um, I'm going to land this like, like that, maybe? I'm gonna have to hit this fairly hard, I think. That's a l oh, that could be good. Nah, just a little short, damn. Oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> uh, all right, flop. Uh, we're gonna do no, we're gonna increase the spin. We're gonna try and land it basically on the on top of the hole. Yeah, that's nice, real nice. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And he'll be unable to take that score any further under par. He'll stay right where he is. Oh, what a shame. Well, Only 45 under. Tournaments you know. here at TPC South Man, that a lot really can sucks. happen here at this par 4 18. It's pretty to look at. It's harder to play. And you can make a mess if you're not careful and walk away really disappointed because of all that water that comes into play on not only the drive, but on the second shot. That should be okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fine. Yes, step one out of the way. It is in the fairway at 18. One more good approach shot could just about seal it. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Um, Ball in the fairway on the finishing hole is a great first step, but still gotta to take on the water and control your distance. Like that. To take advantage of that tee shot. Might be a little bit too hard. Also, more right than I would have liked. Yeah, that's that's fine. We probably won't get a birdie here, but we a chance. Just a little toss the hole. Now this for another birdie. Oh, this is and a weird a very one. Very straightforward look here, down the hill with no break. 
No break. Are you kidding? Yeah. And there you go. Moving Woo. on in the playoffs. That's with another a 28. A 56. Here in Memphis. Just a marvelous performance, Damn. Frank. Look, uh, I know you love EA Sports. You play all the games. You you might win Madden football uh, by double digits, right? It is football. But in golf, double digit victories? That's rare. That doesn't happen a whole lot. <laughs> You're all And no, I do not play all of the EA Sports. Nice plug there, EA. Congratulations, you finished FedEx St. Jude Championship, ranked inside the top 70, and have qualified for the BMW Championship. Yep, that is next up, guys. We'll see you then. Take care.